The Muddy River is part of Boston's celebrated Emerald Necklace. It's a small stream that meanders from Brookline through Boston to finally meet with the Charles River. It's a unifying element to Frederick Law Olmsted's Emerald Necklace. This painting came out on a chance experience while walking early one morning. I was enjoying the cold morning air, but I had a billion things on my mind. Suddenly, I heard the song of a new bird. I was curious and looked over my shoulder, scanning the trees. The vision of pink light falling on the muddy river stopped me, and I just looked. I returned on several mornings, but it was never quite the same. Well, this adds to the special quality of that experience and the moment that came out of it. That brief encounter became a painting, and it continues to inspire me even today, years later. Thankfully, I turned my head on that winter morning and saw the vision of dawn on the muddy river. And we're putting out a little color onto the palette. Alizarin Crimson, Cad Yellow Light, a little yellow ochre, some cobalt blue. creating this wash I'm looking to capture the pink light of dawn and watercolor has a unique ability to allow the underpainting to come through so the yellow is actually coming through this pink and as it dries it's going to create this feeling of atmosphere and light that is emanating from it. The Muddy River itself is a, a small stream, quite small, that meanders uh, through Brookline down to Boston and connects the Emerald Necklace, which is a series of six parks that surround Boston, designed by the landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted. And to this day, it is just uh, such a, a wonderful place to walk around and absorb some of the nature, feel like you're in a completely different place, and you feel as though it's designed for, um, for a sort of retreat. Even though it's in the middle of the city, you feel as though you're transported to the wilderness. One of the things that we see when we're out in nature that the camera often misses is the 
reflection of light. And one of the things that I was picking up on, on my view of the muddy river was how that pink light was reflecting off of the snow. Again, the, the pink that precedes the blue is what creates this effect. For me, a main focus of this particular painting is how can I reflect this light on that meandering shape of the muddy river. I'm using a dry brush here and getting some texture of the bushes that surround the river and that uh, flank the river on either side. This is concentrating the light that's falling on the muddy river. I'm using the dry brush here to paint some of the birches that line the muddy river. And I'm thinking about Olmsted and about his sense of design and how we feel directed by the placement of these birches and the openings that they leave to follow the muddy river as it moves back and forth across the landscape. I try to do the same with my marks to guide the eye and lead you towards the back of the painting. In all of my watercolors, I try to find some place where I can execute a, an interesting brush stroke. I think the brush, the brush, the marks that the brush make are a way that we can emphasize our inner self. And so it's not a perfectly painted tree, but the brush stroke has its own power. And that's what I'm capitalizing on in these uh, birches that line the river.
I'm adding some final touches to the birch tree to try and create the sensation that light is just coming over the tops of the trees and falling on the distant snow in the background. Bringing to an end this painting of a wonderful morning along the muddy river.